The first rule of having an oscilloscope is that you never absolutely ever call this thing an oscilloscope. From now on you refer to this device only as the scope because the scope is the most important tool you will ever get as the do-it-yourself, especially electrical do-it-yourself enthusiasm. There is nothing better, there is nothing more important and for the most of time nothing less useful device than this scope. So remember the name and from now on this is only the scope. You want to sound like the professional, don't you? Now that we have the basing part covered, let's explain what oscilloscope is and what it does. And to some extent it's an extremely simple device, because it does only one thing. It measures the voltage, any voltage, almost any voltage you want, but measure these things very precisely and in the domain of time. So you can observe the changes of the voltage on the screen of this device. So that's simple. This scope over here has the four inputs, four channels, so can measure four, yeah, that's four voltages absolutely independently and display something here on the business part of the scope, which is the screen. On the screen, you will observe your signal as it comes through the channel and with the a lot of bits and pieces happening usually on the right side i have no idea why this is usually the right side of the scope you can change how this voltage you're observing here looks like and what exactly you are able to measure now let me turn this thing on the scope is on and now some of you might ask a question. Is it broken? Because, well, it's not really measuring anything and the only line we can see over here is flat. So is it broken? No, because to measure voltage you have to connect some kind of the voltage source to one of the ports. To do it you need a device called a probe. Usually a probe has the BNC connector on one side that you can connect it to the scope and ground and the signal wire, the hook, you can connect to something. But look, it's still flat. Are we doing something wrong? Yes, we are doing something wrong we because we still have to connect the voltage source to the probe itself probe is connected and you might see something changed but it rather does not really look like any kind of the signal we want to measure correct because what the scope is picking up right now from the wires is just electrical noise why because the device over here that generates the ppm signal is turned off when we turn it on Okay, when we turn it on, you see, something changed, we are able to observe something on the screen. We will not go into the details of the adjustments of the scope, we, I will only show you, show the basic things you can change about your scope to observe whatever you want. First of all, Almost every scope should have run stop button. It allows you to run the scope in the continuous mode, like we are seeing right now, and a single button that basically catches one flow, one change of the voltage in time and freeze it on your screen. We, however, will be running this in the continuous mode for now. Usually, there will be a two bigger knobs on the side with two smaller knobs. This bigger knob is the vertical scale and by changing the vertical scale we can make the graph bigger or smaller and this is the position on the vertical axis. And as you can see we can move our signal up and down on the scope. This 
at least in this model of the scope, which is by the way Regal DS1054Z, pretty nice device, maybe slight overkill for what I really wanted, but I still, this is the centerpiece of my workshop. And with the horizontal scale, we can just fit more or less information on the screen by changing the time scale of our signal and we can also maybe okay and we can also move it left to right is it all you might ask is it all about the scope you really would like to know well yes to some extent and no because there is one more parameter that is extremely important and this is a trigger because what you are seeing over here is the signal positioned in time by the trigger. Usually for the trigger we will have a separate menu and a separate slider and right now the trigger is set for the synchronization for the low value duration that is required to observe the PPM signal. Wanna prove if I go to the mode menu on the uh, trigger menu I will have a type pulse and with the length at least minimum length of 4.83 milliseconds that means it will be triggered and synchronized to the screen after this small period of time as an experiment let's try to lower the trigger value and at certain point probably when I go below 1.5 milliseconds so let me scroll it yes now the signal should start changing you see we lost synchronization why we lost synchronization because instead of being one long break low part of the signal there are also smaller lower values of the signal in time when the synchronization went below this value the scope no longer knows on which it should synchronize itself okay and now you see it's flowing however this is a special type of the synchronization for majority of time the synchronization you will really be using is synchronization time edge and with the synchronization time edge you just adjust the value of the signal that has to cross it to trigger the synchronization but because this is a very specific signal and uh, the ppm with a lot of uh, edges on the raising and falling side in this particular case the edge case is not really what you are looking for and with this basic piece of the information you can begin your adventure with the scope because trust me using a scope to measure whatever you want and however you want and observe any kind of the electrical signal you want you will have to spend some time scale scale is simple fun begins when you get all the trigger types and this scope has really a lot of trigger types on board and when you will be able to use cursors like I'm doing this right now to measure differences between voltages to measure distances between edges and so on and so on and so on but for now I think this is enough for the first video the introduction to the scope and uh, if you really got yourself a scope only because you have a bonus and you do want to turn this thing into the centerpiece of your workshop at least now you should have enough of the information to do it in the future we will continue our adventures with the scope, but right now I cannot yet give you any timeline. So, before that time happens, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Bye-bye.